the bright red of normal tomatoes beside the intense purple of genetically modified versions. These new tomatoes have a kind of pigment which not only makes them darker but also acts as an antioxidant, an aid to health. The process begins with snapdragons. Here at the John Innes Centre in Norwich, they take genes from these flowers and transfer them into the tomato plants, a change in DNA that in theory enhances their nutritional value. The next batch of GM tomato plants. The vision for the future is that the new tomatoes they'll produce will be used in everything from ketchup to pizza. The first types of genetically modified plant were aimed at farmers. Now this second generation is aimed at consumers. So let's take a look inside. Here's the familiar red of a conventional tomato. And if I cut into this one, you can see how that dark purple pigment runs right through it. So here's the thing. If you were given the choice, which would you pick? A GM tomato with potential health benefits or a conventional one. In Canada, the first thousand litres of purple tomato juice. Production is being scaled up. The invention is British, but this work is happening in Canada because the researchers think the EU has too many restrictions. This batch is just for research, but if purple tomatoes ever reach the market, could they change opinions? The Environment Secretary Owen Patterson had a trial of GM wheat in Hertfordshire last year. He's trying to change minds on GM, especially in Europe. But he's up against some determined opposition from major countries, including Germany and France. We don't know for the moment the problem with health. And that's why we asked uh, that the European Union makes a study on a long period to see concretely what's happening with health. So, a site to be avoided or a glimpse of a positive future? The debate on GM is deadlocked, but new inventions and new potential may come to change that.